buckets that we filled with water. Put some water. Is it water conditioner? Yep. Some water conditioner in the water and let them sit out in the sunshine while we mess around. So we go to the pond store and we rent this. Looks well, kind of like a shop vac, but then you'll use that. And then we're going to suck out all of this gunk that is in here from winter time and last summer we just had issues with our uv clarifier and pawn the box it was a big hot mess but we're good now so he actually got a new is it a filter yep. clarifier filter with a uv clarifier so this is our new filter so it's going to filter all that water clarify it and then shove it back into this pond box down here so we're going to dig out some more of that down there to get the pond box down in there deeper and that's our pond pump correct yep yeah okay cool so yeah that's what we're gonna do we have fish in there you just can't see them so i'm super excited to see all the fish that we have oh. head underwater i'm falling back into you i thought we'd be smarter i got nothing left to lose you said you fall with me no matter if I go, study been under. I'm getting ready to run out. Um, so we have a little bit of an issue with a pond and we've had this issue before. So we found out that like the box filter over here was getting too clogged too fast and then it drains itself at nighttime. So then when we wake up, we hear flapping fish. So thank God our fish have survived, I think at this point, three drains of this pond. So the pond is clear. The bottom of it is just kind of there's a little bit of algae, but we just need to put some more algae stuff in there. But we have a little frog guy. We had six in here last night. So we've got a little goldfish. And these are just goldfish from Pet Smart. We've got two koi in there. There's a white one. And there's our comet goldfish. I love them. Oh, I love them. Their tails are so pretty. Um, and these are our lily pads. We just dumped those. And those are our lily pads. I'm hoping that one comes back this year. It looks weird. I may have to repot it. But these are our plants that have just grown there by themselves. <clears throat> just... By themselves but i took them out so they didn't ruin the liner in there oh these are the frogs they're hiding over here somewhere <laughs> and i just put two pieces of like tile that we had downstairs on top of the box so nothing got into the box um we don't have a lot of trees out here so we don't get a lot of that right here because we just have our little tree right there but i'm very happy at how clean this pond is and you can see into the pond so we need to clean out as of right now we need to clean around the pond pump itself um, so the pond pump runs out and around in here and out and around into this new filter that we have so this has an intake that puts it in filters it and puts it through the uv clarifier and then pushes it out and back into the pond box itself so i will link all this stuff down below um, where I've gotten all this stuff. I think we got it all at Amazon. Other than the pond box, I'm pretty sure we got that at Lowe's. Um, and then we got some extra cord, cord, hose um, from the pond store that we have. So got that. I think we got the pond pump also at Amazon. So I'll link all that down below for you guys. But this is pretty cool because it has an indicator on it right here that turns green when it's good. But if it turns, I think Justin said orange, it's bad and you need to clean it. So that's great. So then you just backflow it here and I guess you just hook it up and you just blow it out. I don't know, Justin explained to me how to do that. So if we do that, I can show you guys that. Um, I'll probably show something like that on like Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'm over at Our Missouri Life over there also. And I post a lot on my stories and stuff like that. Like these kind of little updates and stuff like that. But I, this is the happiest I've been with a filter. 
I feel like we've gone through at least three or four at this point and yes this thing is big and you could hide it like in the landscaping but we have this little spot back here that makes it nice and we have a little pot I am going to pot something in there here eventually but I'm not there yet and um, so like I said I'm super happy with how clean the pond is right now um, but yeah that's that's our update on the pond Thank you.